Hi, and welcome to the third webinar in 12D's Industry Solutions webinar series. My name is Lisa Stewart, and I'm the Marketing and Communications Coordinator here at 12D Solutions. While we wait for everyone to finish joining, I'll just pop a polling question on the screen. You'll have about 30 seconds to answer about whether your organization has a quality management system linked to a task and document management system, and then I'll show the results. Okay, so it looks as though we've got a bit of a mix of answers, answers today, but mostly we're not sure about uh, what's about whether our organizations have this. So this is going to be really informative for everyone, I hope. So let's get started. Our industry solutions webinars are designed to provide insights into overcoming challenges in an evolving industry in more effective and efficient ways. We'll be running these webinars regularly and recording them for posting on our website and on YouTube. You'll be able to type your questions along the way, as shown on the screen, and we'll answer as many as possible throughout this webinar. At the end of the presentation, I'll also read out some of your questions to the presenter for his insight. Today's webinar on task management will be presented by Dr. Sun Te, who has been with 12D for over three years. Te is based in Melbourne and has a wealth of experience in a variety of IT solutions. Te will be exploring team-based task management using an example of a hypothetical dangerous work practice on a work site, as reported by a client. He'll use 12D Synergy to demonstrate how tasks are created, assigned and tracked, and how the client is kept informed. Over to you, Tay. Thank you, Alyssa. Uh, hello, everybody. Uh, okay, let's start by defining what is a task management. So a task management is the process of managing tasks through its life cycle. Uh, it is a structured and concise approach in recording, assigning, organizing, and tracking tasks to support quality management. Task management is the foundation for successful project management and quality management. There are many challenges in task management, particularly in the AEC industry. They include uh, managing tasks in a dynamic and complex environment. So many projects go over a number of years and often people assigned to tasks may change and priorities change. The scope of works may change. There are many stakeholders. There's also a lot of documentation such as reports, drawings, emails, meeting notes and so forth. So having to manage all of them is a challenge. Another challenge is trying to keep tasks on track. There are many moving parts in a project and everyone will always be busy. We need reminders and, and we need to track dependencies, that is how each task relates to, uh, to one another. The uh, third challenge is communication. Many problems in uh, managing tasks come about because team members do not know or understand what their responsibilities are and what is expected of them. And this problem is often exacerbated with geographically dispersed teams. Lastly, uh, I have audit trail and reports for quality management as a, uh, a challenge. There are many task management tools uh, in the market. They can be essentially categorized as personal task management tools or uh, team-based slash enterprise task management tools. Uh, personal task managers uh, applications uh, include applications that manage to-do lists, spreadsheets such as Excel, and personal information managers such as Microsoft Outlook. They're all great tools, but they can be easily overwhelmed when there are many tasks and when trying to manage tasks for a team of people. Then there are team-based tools, and the common ones are like Microsoft Project, which is used uh, as a general project management tool. And then there are industry-specific task managers, such as Jira. Jira is an Australian uh, it's developed by an Australian company. It's used for software development. And then we have 12D Synergy, which is used for the uh, AEC industry. The, so what is the best practice for task management? Well, firstly, there should be a collaborative environment that lets people work together as a team and be able to communicate in real time. 
uh, some of the social media technology that we see today that allows people to post messages uh, and have conversations to share experiences, know-how and knowledge, that's a good practice. Secondly, um, so where, whenever possible, try to capture workflows for managing complex tasks. This will ensure consistency to handling situations, which will invariably lead to higher quality outcomes. Thirdly, uh, track progress. So problems can be addressed before they become serious and also create reminders. Uh, there's an adage that says, you know, what gets tracked gets done. Lastly, uh, reports and audit trails, they're really important. Uh, we want reports that can summarize what progress, if any, have been made. Uh, these reports can be used to understand what went right and with the task and conversely, what went wrong, so the process can be improved. Now I'm going to demonstrate uh, how the best practice solution uh, that I've just outlined uh, is implemented in 12D Synergy. Now to do that, I'm going to have to change the screen. All right, so here we have uh, a, in this presentation, right, I have a scenario where the client for a job uh, which is 2014 Mupa, has written to complain that uh, he has witnessed a couple of contractors engage in a dangerous work practice. Yeah? And he would like the matter to be addressed. Now, in such a situation, uh, the company uh, has an OHS incident and accidents reporting and investigation process that's shown here in this diagram. Now, I'm going to demonstrate how this can be implemented in 12D Synergy. I'm just going to enlarge the screen. So here we are in 12D Synergy. Uh, there's a task list at the top of the tree structure. This shows all the tasks that are associated with this job. And right at the bottom left-hand corner, these are all the tasks that have been assigned to me across the whole system. Uh, like all task management systems, there's ability to create tasks. I'm going to do that. I click on New, and that throws up the Create a Task panel. Uh, I'm going to uh, name the task according to this flowchart. says Acknowledge the Complainant. So I'm going to type Acknowledge Complainant. And I can do things like assign the priority. In this case, it's high. I need to let him know that we have taken note of the incident. And we can change the state of the task to be in progress. I can assign the task to, say, a contact. And uh, we could assign it, say, to Adam Jones. Uh, you can do things like define the start date. So I'm going to define the start date as today. And I can also define a due date. And I'm going to define it as relative to start date. That is two days from the start date. I could add a description, write complaint, uh, and acknowledgement letter. I could do things like define reminders. So I could write, uh, define a reminder one day before the task is due and send that reminder to the assignee. And I click Create. And we have the task created. Now, I can continue to define uh, more tasks uh, to define, uh, to model this process. Or in a 12D Synergy, I can create a task. I can create a task from a task type. I do this by clicking on New. There's an option here called task type. And I have previously defined a task type called incident investigation, which models the process. So I click on create. So all the tasks associated with this process is now as displayed in 12D Synergy. Uh, task management is more than just going through a list of to do items. It is also about managing the communication and the documentation. So where the tasks are complex or where there are many tasks and where many people are involved, it may be better 
to manage the task as a sub job or as a separate project by itself. But 12D Synergy allows you to do that. I'm going to create a new job. And here, there are several uh, job types that we predefined. And there's one here called OHS, which is used to uh, manage jobs where there is an OHS incident. So I'm going to click on that. And uh, 12D Synergy throws up uh, some attributes that are associated with this template. And uh, it's asking me now for the values of the attributes. The first one here is the date of the incident. So let's say it's today. And I'm going to give it a title. And I'll go uh, and I'll put it as painters in dangerous uh, situation. I can define the workplace manager. And that's Adam. I can define the OHS uh, management OHS nominee. And that's John Smith. I then click create. So now 12D Synergy in the background is creating a job for an OHS reporting incident. That is, that's a job. And if I click on task, I can see uh, the process uh, has been modeled in the task list. There is an uh, area where I can define the team that we involved in this investigation. So it's asking for the project manager. I'm going to find the project manager as me. And the person conducting the investigation is myself. And we're going to have a legal counsel. And that is going to be Peter Gunn. And the complainant in this situation is the client. I'm going to save that away. I'm also able to post uh, forums uh, into, uh, sorry, notes into forums. Uh, I'm going to create one. And I'm going to maybe create one called certificate. And I had pre-typed this on another screen. Just going to paste that in. So I'm asking it for opinion from the team whether we should ask our contractors to be certified before they go on site. So I'm going to post that. So there it is. That's the posting. Uh, within this job too, there are a series of, of folders that have been predefined. And these folders are used to uh, store all the documentation uh, reports related to this incident. Uh, I'm going to open a, uh, this job in a new window. So I'm going to click open on new window. Uh, that is opening up on another screen right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it across this screen so you can see. I'm going to minimize the uh, previous screen, maximize this, and uh, here we have it. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, go to the uh, task list. So the very first task here is to acknowledge the complainant. Now, uh, I can go into my correspondence folder. There's an area here to write letters. So I'm going to draft a letter now. I click on New. It, that takes me to the company library. And there's an OHS uh, folder with templates. Uh, there's a letter template here called Complaint Acknowledgement Letter. So I'm going to create that, give it a name. Call it acknowledge. And what 12D Synergy has done is taken values of attributes that are referenced in the letter template and populated it here uh, in the letter. So I'm going to click Resolve, add the new file. So the letter here is created. Now, I would like to email this to the client. I don't want to send the client a Word file, so I'm going to convert that to a PDF file before sending it off. Now, there's also an area here for me to store PDF documents. So in my letters uh, from draft, I'm going to create a PDF final version to be sent out. And I'll give it a description. I'll call it PDF. If I now go to the PDF folder, there it is. That's the letter in PDF form. Now I'm going to go back to the task list. The reason I did all that is because for uh, 
the purpose of uh, recording uh, everything, the, the documents. Uh, I am going to say I'm finished this task, but this task is associated with this document. So if there's an audit, the auditor will be able to find the document. So letter sent to complainant. So I'll change the state to close. The progress is automatically set to 100%. Uh, I click submit. The next uh, task here is to assign a person to conduct this investigation. I've done that previously, so the person conducting the investigation is myself. I go back to the task, I right click on it. I do not have to go open up the uh, task panel. I can right click on it and select the option to close the task. The third item on my list of things to do is to review the risk register. I'm going to open this up and here note that uh, instructions are provided to me. Uh, it's telling me where I can find some relevant documents that will help me in doing my job or I can just click through the link. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to click through the link and this is going to take me to the company library. It takes me to the right document in the right folder. So there is, that's the risk register. Assuming that I've read it, I'll now just going to close this job, come back here and say that I've read it and close the task. The next task uh, is one where I need to ask myself, uh, is there a requirement for a legal counsel? If yes, I should come down here. There's a few things that I need to do. Uh, if no, I'll go here and I'll close it. Now, in this case, this incident may have uh, uh, legal implications for the company, so I am going to uh, brief the legal counsel. Now, to brief the legal counsel, you'll be uh, great if I can also attach the, uh, the email from the client. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up Outlook. That's the email from the client. I'm going to drag and drop it into the email uh, folder. So what I'm doing is trying to keep every piece of documentation related to this incident in one location. So here's the email. Uh, I can also create tasks from the document. So I can link, I can associate a task with the document by right clicking and creating the, the task. So I'm going to uh, type a name for this. I go, uh, please review uh, email and advice. I'm going to assign this to the legal counsel and I could define a start date and an end due date and I could create a reminder for him as before. But now I would like a reminder sent to not only the assignee, but also to, to myself. Create. Go back to the task list. There, there it is. That's the task that was created for the legal counsel. Now it is displayed at the bottom of the list but really it should be up here so I can drag and drop that task. So contact legal counsel and there's a subtask here where I have issued some instructions and with that instruction there is a attachment or a link to the email. Now the next thing I want to show you is a, um, a under report and recommendations as part of the company policy I'm going to acknowledge and keep the complainant uh, abreast of what's happening. So I'm going to open up this panel. I could click, uh, there's a tab here called uh, CC, which means that I can include people on uh, the list of uh, people that gets notified about progress or any changes that are made uh, in this task. So the complainant is going to be uh, kept abreast. So I'm going to click Submit. And I'm going to show you what happens here. So I am in the uh, 
Outlook. I've got the client's uh, email uh, account here. I'll show you what happens. I think I did refresh it. Yep. Okay. Now, if I were to go into the inbox, you can see the client has received an email. So if there are any changes made uh, with the task, the client will be informed. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is reports. It is important to be able to create reports, as I mentioned earlier. To do that, I right-click on any task, and there's an option here called report. Reports can be outputted in CSV, HTML, or XML format. In this case, I'm going to choose HTML. And I'm going to give it a name, report HTML, generate the report, open it up, and here it is. So this is a report on all tasks related to this job. Now this is fully customizable. So you can customize your own template and generate reports the way you want it. If I want to have a report on the specific task, I can open up the task and click on report. As before, I'm going to create a report, a HTML report, generate, and open it up. And there it is. That's the report for that specific task. Now, if I want uh, to apply filters uh, to this synergy, gives me that ability as well. I'm going to go into systems view. I'm going to create a report where I would like to know all tasks that have been assigned to me that are still opened. So I'm going to click search, and there I have it. That's all the uh, tasks that have been assigned to me that are still uh, open. So I'm, that's, the, uh, that's the conclusion for my uh, live presentation. I'm now going to go back to the PowerPoint presentation, so I'm going to change screen. So to uh, recap what was demonstrated, um, I demonstrated a, a team-based task management system. The benefit of a team-based system is that there is a collaborative environment to allow for real-time communication between the various uh, stakeholders. I also demonstrated uh, how I'm able to associate tasks with documents. This is useful when, say, the task is to review a document. So the assignee will be provided with a link to the doc document, so the assignee does not have to go searching for the document. It is there. The other one is how I showed, uh, showed how I can provide detailed instructions and provide links to supporting documents uh, in the task. I demonstrated task types, uh, which can modify workflow. And in the example, I, I use that to model a simple OHS process. The benefit of using task types is that it saves time. And it can be standardized for the whole organization. I demonstrated, uh, oops, I'm sorry. I demonstrated forums, how I uh, demonstrate how I share and requested um, information by posting on a forum. The, the benefit of using the uh, forum is that it provides a platform for team members to have conversations and for these conversations to be recorded and shared. I showed how I created uh, reminders and created notifications to a stakeholder on the progress of a task. So 12D Synergy is able to send out notifications and reminders by emails. Task assignments by roles, I demonstrate how I'm able to assign tasks, roles, rather than specific individuals. The, the benefit is that tasks can be re easily reassigned by just changing the person associated with that role. Lastly, I demonstrated how 12D Synergy can create reports on all the tasks in the job or on specific tasks. There are report templates in 2 of the uh, Synergy. Uh, reports can be exported in CSV, HTML, or XML. So they can be repurposed for the um, target audience. So that concludes my presentation. Uh, over to you, Lisa. Thanks, Tay. I believe we've 
just got time for a couple of questions. Uh, Joe from Melbourne would like to know, can multiple people be assigned to the same task? Yes, yes you can. Uh, we can assign the task to a role, a team role, for example, say surveyor. And you can define two persons as surveyors in the team role. So when the task is assigned, say, to the surveyor, both persons designated as surveyors, they will be assigned the task. Okay, and um, Ben from Sydney has asked, uh, can 12D Synergy produce Gantt charts and work out the number of hours worked to complete a task? Okay, so there are two questions there. Uh, the answer to the first question is 12D Synergy is unable to create Gantt charts, at least not in this current version. Now, the answer to the second question about working out the number of hours uh, is a yes and no. Uh, 12D Synergy is able to compute the, is unable to compute the actual number of hours or days. There is no timer there. However, 12D Synergy can report on the start date and the end date of the task. Now, you can export that information to a program, which can then work out the, the time lapse in completing the task. Sure, okay. Um, we've also had a couple of people wondering whether, we can, whether they can integrate Outlook's task list with 12D Synergy's task list. Mm, well, the, the short answer is no. Uh, however, you can export the task from 12D Synergy, which can then be imported into Outlook. However, there's currently no way to import or synchronize tasks from Outlook with tasks in 12D Synergy. Thank you, Tay. That's all we've got time for in the live Q&A today. Thank you, everyone, for your great questions. We'll be answering you individually after this session if we weren't able to get to your question in the live Q&A. The recording of this webinar will also be available in coming days on our website and on our YouTube channel. Please also feel free to download the handout from the handouts area of this webinar. Our next two webinars will be Drainage 2D on the 9th of March and BIM Overview on the 23rd of March. We'll update the website with many more topics in coming weeks and also keep you posted through email and social media. If you need to contact us in the meantime, our details will be on the screen shortly. And that concludes our presentation for today. Thank you very much for attending. We hope to see you at future webinars.